Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. Anyway, it's Mars here. Back with another song. Here, let me take my lovely homemade mask off because once again, I'm social distancing all alone in my home. Anyway, uh, again, I have decided to rework some lyrics to one of my uh, piano songs. This was called, well, first of all, how is everybody doing? And what day is this? What week is this? We don't even know. Probably like seven or eight weeks. It could be a couple months at this point. Um, I know a lot of places are opening up now, and uh, people are, as I call it, playing a little bit of Russian roulette. But um, I'm still staying safe at home. I feel in my gut, in my heart, in my instincts are saying just stay home and keep doing what you're doing. There's no reason to be out there right now anyway. And I'm living in Sedona, Arizona, and the tourists are flocking with their back. And really, none of them, I shouldn't say none of them, but a majority of them from what I've heard have been extremely selfish in the sense that they're not even wearing masks. And I just think that's rude and um, really the whole point of wearing masks is to protect my fellow citizens. It is a gesture of, you know, humanity and uh, I'm kind of disappointed in what I'm hearing about our humanity right now. Anyway, I'll just say that and that's all I'm going to say and now we're going to have a fun song that I've reworked a song. This one was actually called Sleeping in Pain, which is a song that I wrote uh, a few years back. Um, I do have a lot of issues at night sleeping in pain, so that's not fun, so I wrote a song about it. But I have changed the words um, for this pandemic life that we're living, and I'm calling it, I believe, Pandemic Hope. Um, because really, it's really about hope and patience and um, while we wait here for some form of a cure or um, vaccine so our life can get back to some kind of normal. So I'm going to, I just recorded this song on my piano. Uh, it came out okay. <laughs> and of course, as you know by now, this is I think my fourth video. My voice is not... Um, for prime time, so bear with me, but I'm going to uh, play the music now, and I will have to use my cheat sheet because, again, I changed the lyrics and I don't remember them all, but um, enjoy, and here we go. our patience but we're just trying to hang in there so there's the song kind of funny hope you enjoy and uh, I hope you're having a okay Sunday um, taking this all one day at a time of course 
and um, I have been trying to feel as if I can make some sort of a difference in this tragic crisis, insane insanity time that we're all living in. So I, on my Facebook page, and then also at an organization called OneTreePlanted.org, have set up a fundraiser, and it is in honor of the people that have passed away. I want to do something. I just see these numbers on the screen every day. I mean, today it's almost 90,000 people, and it's only May 17th. Anyway, um, for my birthday, which is on May 28th, um, I know the numbers are just going to keep increasing, and I just want to do something. So I've set up this fundraiser, as I said, and it is to plant a tree in memory of these people that have passed away and just to leave some sort of legacy for their families. So um, if you feel inclined, check out my Facebook page, or I guess you're on it if you're listening to this. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, and feel free to donate $1, one tree. So I think there's a minimum of $5 on Facebook. And if you go to the regular site for One Tree Planted on my fundraiser, you can donate $1. And I know these are tough economic times. So anything you feel you can give, please do. And I'm working out a situation with these Facebook groups, and I'm really going to dedicate these trees to actual people that have lost their loved ones. And um, I'm compiling a list of names right now. Obviously, I'm not going to probably be able to plant 100,000 trees, but however many I can. And so far, I think I've collected about $100, so that's 100 trees. So that's 100 people who don't go... Um, unnoticed, you know, and just considered as a number instead of an actual heart and soul, you know, it's just, it breaks my heart. Anyway, speaking of that, sending you a virtual hugs and love from me, Mars Sedona, also known as Mars the Heart Lady. Um, and I um, wish you all the best and stay well, stay healthy, stay strong, and we will get through this it's really a bizarre time in all of our lives, and um, if we can do something, anything, to try to make a difference or make someone's day a little bit better, just give them a smile. Even through your mask, you can smile with your eyes. So um, take care, and I'll be back. I have lots of songs, and if you're interested, you can continue to follow me on my little YouTube channel. So... Here we are again, and I'll see you next time. Mara Sedona signing off for now. Take good care. Namaste.